In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a paper cutout typography in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created a word called effect with this typography. And you can use this typography for any text or any character. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to some light gray color. Then go to insert, add a text box and I'm going to type uh, the letter E and increase the size and change the font to any of your favorite font. In this case, I'm going to use Oswald and I'm going to make it 240 size and make it bold. I'm just going to change the color to white and then press Ctrl D. Keep this aside. Select this particular E. Right mouse click. Go to Format Shape. And you have got two options here. You can see a share of shape options and then the text options. So I'm going to select the text options. And in the text option, I'm going to select the text effects and then go to 3D rotation and the presets. I'm going to select under perspective, the second one, which is perspective left. Select that one and you can X rotation. You can just increase it or decrease it like this. You can see here it is getting more perspective towards the left and I'm just going to make select this particular uh, letter reduce the size to maybe 220 and for the meantime I'm going to give some different color or let me just give this color and bring it here and go to format just say send to back. So you can see here somewhat the shape is taking place. And the important thing here is uh, the, the shadow effect. So before giving the shadow effect, let me just give this particular uh, the background E uh, some gradient fill. Again, go to text option and select the gradient fill. So by default, I have used the one is coming the last one. So I'm just going to delete this only keeping only two points. The first one, I'm going to make it somewhat darker color. And select the other stop and give some light blue color shade and direction. You can just select this particular direction or if you want, you can just increase it also. And the second thing is I'm going to make the shadow effect, which is very important here for that. Go to insert shapes and I'm going to select under basic shape, the trapezoid, draw the trapezoid, something like this and go to rotate and just say rotate left 90 degrees and shape outline, make it no outline. And I'm going to under shape effect, select the gradient fill. So by default, the gradient fill has come the this one. So let me just change the color, the direction. I'm going to use it something which is not this. Yeah, I'm going to select this one, which is the linear down. And this one, I'm going to make it let it be black. No problem. And this I'm going to select the color of the background, which is light gray and transparency effect make it 100% and this also you can just increase a little bit transparent and bring this here exactly on top of the white E and then you can just maybe I'll just try to increase a little bit or let me just zoom in so that you can understand better let me just zoom in Reduce the size a little bit and you can just adjust this with this orange pointer. And then just say send to back. So you can see here. My letter E is ready. So I'm just going to copy now all these things. I can just select all or I can just press control A and control D to duplicate it bring the other side 
and whichever character now you can just type it for example this one i'm going to make it f and the background also this also i'm going to make it f and just put it like this so you can see here the f is also ready so whichever character you need you can just simple make with this one so again for example i'm just going to copy this control d this one will be e f f and this one i'm going to again copy control d e f f e sorry the one f has not been copied i believe sorry for that so let me just do again from the beginning control d so e f f and then i'm going to select this particular e and then control d i'm going to make it a c now again to make it c first i'm going to make this character c and then the background character also which is c and you have to make sure that you have to place it at the right position otherwise it won't look good so you can see here and the background you can see here this uh, the shadow also you can change it right mouse click edit points not the background just a minute let me just select the background because it is at the back yeah edit points and you can just make it somewhat curve also you can see here I'm just making it curve because C is curved so let it be a somewhat curve design so let me just arrange this first of all Let me just place the C here, then the, this C on the top and then the, what you can see here, this is too much, uh, it's going out, again edit points, you can just reduce the size with this. So you can see here. So C is also ready and the last one or T again you can just select maybe this one control D and this will be T. Move a little bit then change this E also to T and then put it back so you can see here the effect design is ready now or the typography is ready and you can use any character you like to use this particular uh, typography effect that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye